All right, what's up everybody? It's Raven and we are going to be building an anti-pirate fighter slash this will probably be a Corvette or what I call a Corvette. Uh, some people on the stream wanted to see it and hopefully this will help. I'll try to explain it as I go. So first things first, we're going to get ourselves some, our basically, I, I always make a line and I try to put the core about two thirds the way back. That means the core is protected from the front, more so, and should end up making things a little bit easier in general for you. It means that as long as you keep, you know, the stuff that's attacking you in your front quarter, then you won't die as quickly. So we're going to go ahead and start there. And we're just going to kind of flesh out a shape here. So we're going to be going probably around 90 meters, to be honest. This is going to be a big thing. It's not going to be a fighter, like I said. But it will be pretty quick. And all this translates to building a fighter, too. So we're kind of making a spot for our cannon. This is going to be our front end. And we're going to play with it a little bit and get it, you know, a little bit better looking. Um, I was gonna go for a little spiky thing, but I don't think I like that. Okay. So, first things first, we need a little bit of an alternate color here. Um, I just like to use slightly different colors here and there, and it makes things a little easier. And for those people watching this as a video, Chris is here, so Hello. expect him to say stuff. Maybe. Starting over. I'm gonna go with uh, an old generic style that I like and have used on several occasions. Try to keep it. We're gonna try to keep the size down a little bit. Pasted it perfectly that time. Nice. I know I'm working in black right here, and it's not a good lighting. Um, let's flip it then. This will make it so you guys can see it a little bit better. So we're just going to kind of start fleshing out a shape here, like I said before. Something like this. And this will be our main cannon, right out the front. A little too late to comprehend the equation of life. How do you feel? How do you see? How do you deal with time? Do you want to let it go? Do you want to take it slow? What do you feel inside? What do you feel outside? Okay, so we've actually got our main body, believe it or not. Just because we're going to go... Uh... Yes, we will. We will add AMS turrets. Um, they will be. They may be pre-built ones, but I'll show you how to set it up. So we've kind of got a little bit of a, a shell here, and what we're gonna do here is 
Alright, so, to explain what I've done so far, we've got um, our main, this is going to be our cannon barrel right here, and I'm just going to do generic crystal for the cannon barrel. Um, it's a pretty good standby, a lot of people do it, and it works pretty well. Um, but, if you notice, the core's right here, so we're going to actually add the cockpit and everything, we're going to build around this now. Okay, so we're gonna kind of give it like a patrol bridge, and that should be right about there. And we're gonna widen this out a little bit. And actually, I want this to come forward instead, because I think that'll look better. So, I'm building at 45 degree angles right here. And the reason I'm doing that is to keep this from looking boxy. Um, I don't like building boxy ships, and if you go at 45s and stuff, it tends to really help. So we're gonna kinda just go with this. Now this needs to be swept backwards instead. Just looks better. And part of this part right here is, I just have experience, I know what a ship you know, when I put a line down, I can see where that line's gonna go. And that part is experience. So you just kinda, you know, tweak around with it. And so that, that just takes time. So we're gonna bring this down to like, yeah, 18's fine. And we're gonna add in a couple lines. And these are gonna be our wing pods which will give us extra systems room. And we'll kind of go, we'll do something kind of weird. Um, I think it'll create a cool little shelter for anything. So we'll go, do, yeah, I think that'll work. So we're adding in wingy bits, and wingy bits are incredibly important. I, I can almost promise you, any ship will look better with wingy bits. Guys. And you know it's true. No. What? Wingy bits. Wingy bits are amazing. Okay. So we're gonna... Go out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. For the size of this ship, yeah, five should do it because then we're gonna do like a wing and it's gonna kind of bend in and around. It's gonna be a small one. So I'm not using wedges initially, and the reason I don't is because um, when I wedge something, that typically means that I'm done with it, at least in my brain and I am nowhere near done with this. I want it to feel as, you know, as easy to uh, go in and alter it as possible. So that's why I'm not, not using wedges right yet. So there's our basic wing, and obviously that's really, really flat when everything else is this angle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and extend this out, and we're gonna bring this out at a 45 again. So, all I'm doing is adding blocks so that they're all at 45s. And this will all just be a straight line right now. And we'll add detailing to, to fix up anything. So, uh, like that, like that. So there we go, we've got ourselves a little engine cowling. And we'll bring this down to like, I think 11 will do. Yeah, that'll do. Now, this back end is actually gonna get widened out a little bit more, which is hopefully gonna work out. But right now I'm just trying to get the engine pieces on. So, we'll kinda do that. And we'll, we'll extend that side out. So that is starting to give it a little bit of a shape. 
and it, it's kind of a wide fighter for, you know, my style, but it'll be alright. So we're going to get rid of that block, and start adding in pieces, like so. Now, now's when I'm going to kind of decide on my colors, alright? So, I don't really know exactly where I want to go with this, color-wise, but I do know I want this to be an indent piece. And, um, and that's because I'm gonna do a wing off of it, so if I come out, we'll come out a little ways, and we'll come in a little ways. And again, if you guys have any questions, um, feel free to ask while I'm doing this, because I'm sure somebody else is gonna have your question, too. And it would be helpful if I can answer it. So. Alright, so we're gonna kinda... Pare that down, like so. And now we've got our... This is gonna be the part for the wingy bit. So we're gonna actually... I'm gonna stick on symmetry here. I typically don't, but that's alright. Um, So that's going to be the way the wing is going to work. And that's, you're already starting to see the shape of the ship. Um, there's going to be some more stuff on the bottom, and the top isn't fleshed out yet. But, that's the basic shape already. So we're going to go ahead and bring this out, because this is the size that I want. Um, the the sh the ship to flare out to I guess so we're gonna kind of let this come through mind you I'm going over pieces that I'd already built and that's okay um, a lot of all these extraneous blocks will kind of get put away later and that's perfectly fine so we've got our wing wingy bit and then we got the extra wingy bit on top so what we're gonna do here is get rid of this symmetry. We've got this all coming back. This is gonna end up being an engine. These will be engines, main cannon, and then uh, I can do an underslung turret as well. But we'll see if that gets called for. So the next thing we're gonna do is start fleshing out where the uh, main room's gonna be, you know, your cockpit basically. Now, this is more for aesthetics. So some people forgo, forgo this. Um, I like to have, you know, little something here. Um, I'm using the rule of threes, by the way. So if you notice, it's three and out. And I, I use a lot of odd numbers. Odd numbers make things look better to the human eye. Couldn't tell you why, but it does. So three, like that. And we're gonna go out another three, and then we're just gonna close it off. So that's going to be the cockpit area right there. It doesn't look like much right yet, but it will eventually, hopefully. If I do my job right, it will. Um, so we're going to start getting rid of some of the extra blocks, and then we're going to start shelling. Uh, no, I want that back. Come back here. Stop it. All right. So now we're going to kind of get... I don't know what the engine design is going to look like, but we're going to start up front and we're going to add in all the extraneous little pieces. So we're going to... I can actually teach some of you guys the, uh, the 45 out of 45 here in just a second. Um, there we go. That adds just a little bit. And we'll actually kind of do one of these because that adds a little bit too. Um, I'm gonna go grab some crystal here. Actually, I let me let me, let me dump a little bit of the inventory here. I think. Um, I don't think I need these. But this way, I have a a, a few more inventory slots. And we'll use Matisse Crystal. <laughs> and 
we use ram it. That'll be for the uh, rear engine. And, oh, that's not what I meant to do. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put in the crystal for the um, weapon system right now. Because no reason not to screw around. So what I'm actually going to do here is add in all your, you know, crystal here. And then we're going to layer on top of it. So, and then we'll end up deleting out the the extra blocks because you want to you want to save as much as you possibly can uh, for systems, but you also you know it's nice to have something that looks good. So there we go. We'll go ahead and get rid of these. So we've got a little bit of crystal here. We're gonna do something a little weird because I haven't done this before, but we're gonna kind of bring this out. Uh, that might be too far, actually. Yeah, it's too far. So we'll, we'll bring this down. Something like that. And that makes that a lot easier. Well, that's the point. Uh, nice to see you here. And the point of this one is to show people kind of how to make a semi-detailed... Uh, I guess this is going to be a frigate. And this is the, um, this is, uh, default at 256 resolution. So we're gonna kinda, we're gonna make this relatively generic, just so you guys know. Um, it's not gonna be super, super heavy on the detail like I was doing earlier. But it's gonna, I can show you guys the basics of detailing. So, right now it's gonna be... I'm showing you guys the trick behind a, um... Uh, yes, I've thought about doing that, uh, Gmit. I have never actually bothered doing it, but I have considered doing it, uh, putting a floating camera behind the ship for a third-person view. It's an interesting concept. I've never, like I said, never actually done it, though. Um, so right here, uh, you'll see I've got corners. We're gonna do something called a 45 out of 45. And so, let's see. So, obviously, you know, like right here, this is a 45 degree angle. But this is a 45 degree angle this way and this way. And the way that you fill these up is with, um, with corner blocks put in kind of specific spots. So that's what we're going to try to do. And it makes a really nice, clean line. Um, so that's the one that I did before, and I need... And I did a video on this, too. I will link it in the description. Um, and that was called... I believe that was the... Uh, 45 out of 45... Uh, Devil in the Details video I did a while back. I should show you how to do it. It was a little bit weird, so... Hopefully you caught that there. But yeah, basically it's it's a corner trick like this. And you can kind of see it make it it forms a smooth line all the way down, which is really nice. Um, so there we go. We've got a little bit going on here. And we're gonna go ahead and add some wedges here. See now this side I'm I'm starting to finalize a little bit. And so that's why I'm adding the wedges. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna inset a little bit and see what this looks like. I'm gonna hit lightning real quick. So, and that's gonna add a little bit of a recess detail there. We can get rid of this block and turn it around. Like so. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna add this little recess again. So we're starting on the front end now. Like I said, we've kinda got a little bit done.
Okay. So we're just gonna kind of add some some pieces here. This is all going towards, uh, you know, what I'm gonna do with the engines. It's actually usually what I do last. Um, just it's more out of habit than anything. So from here, we're actually gonna use another corner. Oops, missed. There we go. And we're gonna run this back. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> no problem. Alright, so we've got a little bit going up on the front. We're gonna add a little bit more detailing. Now, obviously I do detailing builds. Like, that's kind of my thing, so there are more efficient ways, I guess, of, you know, making a ship, but this will make a pretty one, and one capable of killing pirates. So we've kind of started in on this, hang on, that's better, okay. So we're at 63 by 15 by 41. Typically, um, I would be closer to 90 with a width of 41. And that's just my typical build style. But in this case, whatever. So we're going to do... Let's turn off lighting. So as you can see, we kind of got some, some basics here. Um, we're going to start kind of putting in some lines here in the back. I like to jump around when I build ships. Um, it keeps me from getting bored, I guess. But uh, feel free to you know jump around a bit. It it can help, honestly. Um, it means you don't get you know zoned out on one part and you kind of continue going. So this is all going to change eventually, but this kind of tells me, you know, about where I want that to end. This bottom is is atrocious as is, it's gonna need to get a bunch of extra stuff added. But I would really like to get the wing pods done. And the way we're gonna do this is by extending them. So we're gonna turn back on symmetry because these wing pods are mostly symmetrical. And we're gonna extend these back a little bit. And go there. Now, you can kind of see that these wingy bits here are forward. So what that means is we can actually kind of do some cool stuff with it. And this will allow it to kind of thin out, which is nice. There we go. So there we go. We've got a little bit better looking wingy bits. And now, you'll notice I'm trying to keep as much hollow as I possibly can, but I'm also trying to work fast. And the reason I'd like to work fast is actually pretty simple. I don't like to lose my, you know, a groove or a thought that I have on a ship. So I try to work pretty quickly. So here we go. And then we'll kinda... So that's, that's our, that's our engine pod. 